Hello, I'm going to give a little demo of the Plan 9 editor called Acme and show you some of the things you can do with it and hopefully uh, get you a little interested in this fun editor. I've been using it a lot and I find it very convenient and I use it instead of Emacs in my day-to-day -day work. Now, so Acme is the programmer's, programmer's editor in Plan 9. It was written by Rob Pike several years ago and uh, among other things it allows you easy access to uh, a c powerful command language and you can run other programs inside of it, we'll see that in a bit. Um, it's also got some very convenient things it does with the mouse which you'd be stuck doing something inconvenient in Vim or Emacs otherwise. Now so I've just started Acme here, just opened it up and what we can see here is the overall big window. Now inside of it are tags now this is the window tag. The window is divided up into columns. Right now there's two columns. Here's column one, here's column two. These columns also have their own tags. And then inside of a column there can be multiple windows. Here's one window. And I can move it around from column to column. Now you see me moving that around. That kind of segues into the use of the mouse buttons. Acme makes very full use of all the mouse buttons. So the left mouse button you just use for moving uh, moving the cursor around, selecting text, the usual sort of thing. You can also use it, hold it, and uh, move the frames around, move these windows back and forth, or you can resize a column. Now the middle mouse button is for executing things. So in these tags, all these programs, all these are programs, they can be executed by middle clicking on them. So if I wanted to say make a new window, I would go over here and middle click on new. Now it's not just in the tags that you can do that, you can middle click anywhere. So I type new right there and middle click starts a new window. Now the right mouse button does searching. So if I wanted to search for the next instance of the letter M, I would select it by holding down the right mouse button and release and it jumps to the next instance of M. If I click again, it jumps again, again, and so on. Now, something else you can do is that uh, Acme allows you to do mouse cording. So if I was to say select, holding down the left mouse button, this file name, and then while still holding down the left mouse button, click the middle mouse button, it cuts that right out of there. Now I could come down here, and while holding, click and hold the left mouse button and then click the right mouse button and paste that text. Alright, that's great, but uh, that's just kind of silly and now it's got my files out of order, so I'm going to middle click get to refetch the list of files. Now, so as you probably can guess, uh, Acme can act as a file browser, so here I am in my home directory, maybe I'll look at what I've got under the bin directory. Alright, got these directories, 386, MIPS, RC, nothing under RC, this is a pretty freshly installed machine. But as you can see, when you open a new file, open some new directories, it opens new windows for them, and I can get rid of these again with delete, or I can open this C file here, check it out, and say, okay, where do we, uh, where do we ever use this variable? So I right click, drag, and there we go. So uh, you make your changes pretty usually. It's a modeless editor, just like Emacs, blah, blah, blah. You notice when I started typing, this little box here turned dark blue, which means that it's been et changed. So if I was to say delete, it would warn me, pop up this error window. I don't really care about that, so I hit delete again, and it closes it just fine. Now one of the powerful things you can do with this, let me open this file back up again. Uh, it has a powerful command language, so you can do stuff like uh, SAM or VI's, um, regular expressions, you can edit things. I haven't used it too much because, in general, there's not a lot I need to do. I just do basic text editing. But if, say, I wanted to change every instance of the, of the phrase ALT, A-L-T, in this section to meta, just to be silly, I would come up here in the tag, I would type edit, and then s slash alt slash meta and then hold down the middle mouse button to select 
and it's changed the first instance because I've made a little mistake here. I forgot to put in the G to do it multiple times. Do it again. There we go. It's changed all the instances. And of course, I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to undo those. Oh, undo, redo. It's got unlimited undo, like most editors these days. You could also do stuff with piping and redirecting the contents of these windows. I'm not going to do that right now. I don't use it very much. I'm not too familiar with it, but it is possible to do. And uh, let's see what if I was done editing this file, I wanted to save it. I would middle click on put, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to trash my on desktop copy. Now there's also a few things you can do from Acme that uh, you might not expect. It's a uh, it's pretty versatile in that it speaks to the plumber and uh, which is a Plan 9 service and it redirects redirects files that you want to open to the appropriate handler program. So if I was to go to sys doc and left click on that to open sorry right click on that to open <laughs> and uh, let's see I wanted to look at the Acme paper so I'll right click on Acme and up oh, there's Acme.ps. Now I want to open that so I'm going to right click on that sends a message to the plumber which opens the postscript file in another window. Now this is being a little strange because I'm recording my desktop so you can't see the whole thing but uh, this is the Acme paper and uh, as you can see it's not actually opened within Acme it's been opened by an external program called by Acme through the plumber. A little complex but you get used to it. Let's see and close that up uh, before I finish out here, I'm going to show there's uh, some internal programs to go with Acme. You can write uh, programs to take advantage of Acme's uh, windowing system. It, it is, in fact, a proper windowing system of a sort. It doesn't display graphics, but it will display text, and you can write programs that link into it. The, probably the simplest one is called Win, which is a window. It starts a new uh, terminal. So I can just run all my Plan 9 commands in here. And uh, I would frequently run IRC clients, stuff like that in there. And it just kind of helps you keep everything organized. Sometimes people will not even run Rio, the basic Plan 9 window manager. They'll just run Acme instead, and it works just fine. Now, uh, another thing you can do is the only way to edit the Plan 9 wiki is through Acme. So if you were to go to slash Acme slash wiki and open the guide file, Alright, well, so the guide file contains some useful commands that you might want to execute if you wanted to edit the wiki. So, local 9fs wiki. Alright, we'll run that. That's all run. Now we'll run wiki slash mount slash wiki. And up pops the plan 9 wiki. So I could go around, I could open the FAQ if I wanted to, and if I felt like it, I could edit this, but I really don't want to because I don't want to break up whatever changes people have on here. I don't want to mess with it because it's easy to break things <laughs> on the uh, on the internet, and I don't want to go stomping all over other people's things. So, um, I guess I'm going to close up my little rambling trip through Acme right now. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.